Good morning, my friends. Rain on the green grass, rain on the tree, rain on the housetop, but not upon me. Let's start our morning on a rainy Monday, April 27th, 2020. Dear friends, today is a rainy Monday. I saw many puddles outside. It will be cold today. It is a great day to write. Love, Mrs. Jones. So with it being so rainy outside and the cold rain, today's a great day to stay inside and to get some writing done. It's perfect because it's Monday, weekend news day. Let's start in, and we're gonna find some capitals. We start right away, you clap it, I'll underline it. Capital A, capital D, Capital F, sometimes I call them uppercase, it's the same thing. Capital T, capital M, capital I. I all by itself when it's a word is always a capital because I am important. Capital I, capital I, capital L, capital M, Capital J. Let's switch to our ending marks. At the end of that sentence. At the end of this sentence. At the end of this sentence, all periods right now and one exclamation mark. Let's check the pattern. We have a period, we have a capital. We have a period, we have a capital. We have a period, we have a capital. We have an exclamation mark at the end, and this is just my signing off, and that's why it's a capital. Temperature today, 34 degrees. It's not going to get much warmer than that today. It's gonna to stay in the 30s. And I have another one to add. Last day we were together, it was 145. So today is 140. I add one more. Six. 146. What digit changes? Still 100. Still four tens. And now I have six ones. That's the digit that's going to change. The ones digit. There it is, 146. Tomorrow will be 147. You're right, so we're inching up again, and you know what happens at 150? We get another 10 bundle, so the whole thing will change. All right, so this morning, I want you really thinking about your writing. You've got seed journal observations to write. You've got weekend news to write. And you've got lots of other things to write about oviparous animals. We've seen a lot of action this weekend with birds. Are they oviparous? Yes, they are. So I expect to see some writing about that when we're into our second theme for our animals that are born out of eggs. Right now, I wanted to do some vowel review. So we're going to look at our short vowels and just review them. These are the ones that are in the middle of words that are often just three letters. We've got a, apple, a, e, ed, I, itch, O, octopus, U, up, back to A, A. So we know A, E, I, A, A, all short vowels. A, E, I, A, A are the short vowels. A, E, I, A, A are the short vowels, a, e, i, a, a, are the short vowels. Yes, they are the short, short vowels. So we have short vowels. Then we have that other same vowels, only now we call them long. A, like in the word safe, we're seeing the magic E on the end. It doesn't make any noise, it just powers up the vowel to make it say its own name. A says A when it's long. 
E, peat, E. Pine, I, pine. Home, O, home. You, mule, you. Back to A. So we have A, E, I, O, U. A, E, I, O, U are the long vowels. A, E, I, O, U are the long vowels. A, E, I, O, U are the long vowels. Yes, they're the long, long vowels. When you're writing, every word should have a vowel. So we're making sure that if we hear an A, like in the word day, doesn't have a quiet E at the end, follows a different spelling pattern, but we sure hear that day, it's got to be the A. Thinking about the word rainy, again, follows a different spelling pattern, but there's an A in there, rainy. If you hear the A, you write it. If we look at the word will, eh, 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 short vowel, so we use a short vowel there. Every word we write needs to have a vowel in the middle. So make sure that when you're writing and stretching your words out that you're really listening to both your long and short vowels and including them. So we have all the other letters are our consonants and the consonants frame the word, but in the middle there, there are those vowels that you've got to make sure you're stretching and hearing. Before I send you off today, I'd like to count a couple syllables. So let's go to the word today. Today, Monday, Monday, outside, outside, April, great, great. Alrighty, I'm going to send you off today. You've got a lot to do. Mondays are very busy, so make sure you're checking all of your work, and I can't wait to hear how you're doing. Let me know what you write today. I'm excited to sit down and write Duke Hurt His Paw this weekend, so I have a story, story about Duke, his poor sore paw, and the yellow rain boot. I'll see you tomorrow, but until then, keep a picture in your pocket and a poem in your head, and I will do the same. Goodbye for now.